Hey, my name is Miriam, and my life, well, it really isn't the best. I have two jobs. One is working as a cashier, and the other, I can't tell you yet. I'm hated by everyone at school because of some dumb rumor. Everyone looks at me weirdly. I hate it. This is Katie, the school queen or whatever. She's the one who spread the rumor. She's basically worshipped around here. Her friend group has. Her. Alyssa. Ruth. And my ex-best friend, Jacob. They would make me cry every single day. What the hell is she doing here? I thought she moved schools. Oh. Look who finally decided to show their face. Cute. All I could do for now is shrug it off. Oh my god, I'm late for class. This can't be happening on the first day back. Fuck, I'm so late, bro. Ah! I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? Oh, it's nothing. Just a bruise. What's your name? Mine is David. Oh, uh, my name is Miriam. After that interaction, I fell in love with David. But I knew I wouldn't stand a chance. I mean, look at him. He's way out of my league. If only I could cast a love potion on him. Girl, have you seen the new boy in our school? I heard he likes painting. You don't say. I'll buy a painting and say I painted it. My heart dropped. Katie liked him too. I knew from that moment I couldn't do anything to get him back. I guess it should stay as a little crush. I'm not even sure that he likes me. Wait! Wait up! Miriam! David? What's the problem? I thought that maybe I should give you this as a... I'm sorry for bumping into you today. Oh my god, it's so cute. But, hmm, I can't take that from you. I'm sorry. Who the fuck is that guy? And why is he all over Mariam? I'm so stupid. Who the hell gives a girl a plushie? Now you realize that. You're so stupid. What the fuck, man? Were you stalking me this whole time? And who even are you anyway? Bro, just stay away from Mariam, or I will ruin your entire future. Yeah, bro, you've officially lost it. Crazy ass dude. I'm not letting that shit slide! Ah! Why are they all over her? I'm not letting this happen. I was eating lunch alone until David approached me. He asked to sit with me and I obviously said yes since it's been a long time since someone sat with me. He better be joking. I'm so done with him. School ended and I was on my way to work until I stumbled upon... Katie, talking with... Wait! David! Oh my god, David. You're so funny! Why do you hang out around that looser Miriam? Are you, like, forced? I don't know, to be honest. She keeps following me around everywhere. She's so pathetic. Oh my god, I can't believe he said that. I thought he was different than other guys. I've cried day and night. I really loved him. While I was cooking, I got an anonymous call from someone. Hello? Who's this? Hey, Miriam. Me at Coffee House right now, please. It's urgent. Fine, I guess. I hope he's okay. Yeah, we haven't talked in a while, but I still cared about him. I reached the place and it's been 30 mins and he's still not here. I was planning on going home. Oh, hey. Didn't expect you to actually come. What do you want? I feel bad for what I did, and I want to apologize sincerely. I thought forgiving him was a bad idea. It turns out he was actually really funny and sweet. I really enjoyed spending time with him. What the actual hell? We started talking again at school. I got my best friend back. If only I knew what was going to happen next. Wait, Miriam, we need to talk. Huh? Why are you avoiding me? Oh, I thought I was following you around and you're too cool for me. Where the hell did you hear that from? Does it even matter? I'm not stupid, David. Please leave me alone. It's not what it seems. There was this new girl everyone was talking about and she is in our class. I'm excited to meet her. Hey, everyone. My name is Leslie. I'm so excited to be her friend. After class, I saw her and David close to each other. I couldn't help but feel jealous. Hey, Mariam, what's wrong? Oh my god, you scared me, don't do that. Chill out, it's not like I'm gonna eat you. Me and Jacob sat together during lunch, until David approached us. So what now? Y'all are dating? Even if we were, that's none of your concern. I want to talk to you privately in the bathroom. Mariam, I'll be back. Go ahead and eat without me. In the bathroom. What do you want, bro? What the fuck did you tell Miriam? Why is she avoiding me? I know it was you. What the hell did you expect after you talked shit about her? Now you're blaming me? You're mentally ill, dude. I'm definitely beating your ass today. After the fight, David got sent home and suspended for a while, since he was the one who started the fight according to cameras. But for Jacob, he only got a warning. I went to Jacob's house to find out what happened and cheer him up. I was not ready for what I was going to see. 
I was gonna knock, but I saw Katie. Ugh! Our plan failed miserably. We need something better and creative to get rid of Miriam. You did a bad job pretending to be her friend. Honestly, I should have expected this. I really believed that he changed. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna get back at them, I swear. I feel bad that I didn't believe David over these people. Now I need to go apologize to him. Hopefully he forgives me. A week later, I saw David sitting alone. I felt bad. I started approaching him to apologize for everything I did. What do you want? I apologized and I told him everything that happened, including my revenge plan. He was confused at first, but surprisingly agreed. We've been flirting as a joke just to make Jacob jealous, and it obviously worked. Me and David started hanging out a lot nowadays. I even developed a small crush on him. On Valentine's Day, he showed up in front of my door, holding flowers on his hand. Are these for me? I asked. Mariam, will you be my girlfriend? You don't have to accept them or say yes. I obviously said yes. I've been waiting for this day since forever. We stayed together after graduation and we moved in together. But Katie and Jacob started dating. Their relationship wasn't really the best. Can you tell me which one you want? All you do is go on your phone all day. I'm tired of it. Just buy me all of them. Ugh, stop making a huge deal. I'm the one who's making a huge deal? You know what? We're breaking up. Whatever. It's not like you were useful anyway. He regretted his life decisions. She was only using him for money. He would often miss Miriam, too. But for Miriam, she now owns a small bakery in the town with her boyfriend, David.